Hey everyone, it's Anthony from Pretty Print here. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to use Flask Bootstrap. So Flask Bootstrap is an extension for Flask that allows you to automatically include the Bootstrap JavaScript and the Bootstrap CSS files in your project. Uh, so this is an alternative to either linking to the JavaScript in CSS CD in yourself or including those same JavaScript and CSS files in your project. Flask Bootstrap will take care of that for you, which makes it a little easier and it's pretty well organized, which you'll see in a minute here on how you can just extend what Flask Bootstrap starts with. So before I get into showing you that, I have this Flask cheat sheet that I want to show you. It's basically a bunch of things that are pretty common in Flask that you may not know how to do already, and they're all in this one PDF file. So if you want to get it, just go to prettyprinted.com slash Flask cheat sheet, all one word. I'll have the link in the description below if you want to take a look at that as well. So. Uh, the first thing you need to do when you want to use Flask Bootstrap, of course, is use pip to install it. So it's simply pip install Flask Bootstrap like that. I have it installed already, so I don't need to install it again. And I'm going to create a very simple project to demonstrate what needs to be done. So let me import uh, what's necessary. So uh, from Flask, I'm importing Flask. And I also need render template, so let me add that as well. And then from Flask bootstrap I'm importing bootstrap so this is really easy to use so first I'll instantiate the flask app and then I'll instantiate flask bootstrap by just passing the app to bootstrap very easy to do so I'll create one route and what I'm going to do in this route is return a single file which is the template that I'm going to create in a moment here. And of course, I need to run the app down here. So let me add what needs to be added to run the app. Okay, so it's debug mode. So to use Flask Bootstrap, in addition to instantiating the Bootstrap class here, I need to include one thing in the index file or any template file that will use Flask Bootstrap. So you see here, this extends bootstrap slash base HTML. I just need to include that at the top of my template. I'll save that and I'll run the server just to show you what happens. So no module name Flask Bootstrap because I forgot, oh, I misspelled it, Bootstrap. No, Bootstrap. <laughs> there we go. And I spelled bootstrap correctly there. So let me try it again. Okay, so now it's running. So I'll go to the index and I get a blank page. But if I look at the source of this page, I see a few things already. I see a link to the bootstrap CSS here. And I see uh, links to the JavaScript files for both jQuery and bootstrap. And if you look in my project directory, you'll see that I only have the server file and the templates file. So all I needed to add was the Flask Bootstrap, Bootstrap extension, and it includes all this for me. So now if I want to add custom code to this, how do I do it? Well, with Flask Bootstrap, it makes it pretty easy. So let's see, where is it here? Uh, I use blocks to extend the files that I'm working with. So here are the blocks that you can use. I'll start with content because that's the most obvious. So if I go here and I create a content called, so block content, and I say in block content, I don't need the content in the end, but whatever I put inside of this content block, will render in a certain part of the uh, HTML file that's generated. So let's say hello inside of this block. So that's saved. I'll refresh this and I'll now look at the source. Now I see a header hello in between the body tags because it's part of the content. If I wanted to add something else, so let's see, let's add a script. So if I go to scripts, so block scripts, 
and then in block. What I need to do here is add a script. So I have a CDN up and I'll just pick a random library here. Let's try Angular. So I'll take that and I'll put it in the scripts block. So I'll save that. I'll refresh the page. And then let's take a look at the source now. So now what happened? I see my script was added, but I no longer see the jQuery script and I don't see the bootstrap script anymore. They're gone. Well, the reason why that happened is because there was existing content in that particular block. So if you're working with a block that has content in it already that's applied to you by Flask Bootstrap, you need to make sure you use the super function. So this will take everything that's in the existing scripts block that's provided by Flask Bootstrap add it and then whatever you add after that gets amended to the block if you don't have the super the block gets overwritten so now that i have the super in there i'll refresh and now i see uh jquery and bootstrap are there along with angular so keep that in mind when you're working on this if things get a little weird you may be missing the super uh, when you are working with the block and just to show you that bootstrap is included i'm going to add something from uh, bootstrap here so let's say uh, what's a good thing let's say alerts i want something good though so let's try this and see how easy it fits into the page so i'm just copying these divs from the bootstrap website i'll save them there and let's see what they look like so we have these four i don't even know what these are called um alerts they have the ellipses because there's no content there but let's say one, two, three, and four. So I'll save that and refresh. And now I see it's all there and it's in the bootstrap styling. So let me just remove this extends bootstrap slash base just to show you what happens when you don't have that because that's what's needed to have bootstrap in your template. I'll refresh and it complains because there's no parent block called scripts. So if I add that back and refresh, everything is fine. So Flask Bootstrap provides those blocks for you to modify and you get all the Bootstrap JavaScript and CSS included automatically without you having to do anything. So it's pretty simple to use and it can make your application a little easier to maintain because you don't have to think about including Bootstrap. You just let Flask Bootstrap handle it and you can continue working on other parts of your app. So that's it for this video. I'll create another video to follow this one uh, dealing with using WT Forms with Flask Bootstrap because someone asked me how to use WT Forms with Bootstrap and I figured this is a good way to introduce it uh, because you want the styling of Bootstrap but you also want the functionality that comes along with WT Forms. So I will cover that in the next video. If you have any questions about this video, please leave a comment below. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, please subscribe. So thank you for watching this video and I will talk to you next time.